Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. You know, when you come last on the program, for those who are bringing greetings, um, it's often difficult because much of what you wanted to say has already been said. But let me first stop and say thank you to Dave Sikowski and Mr. Kim Lee uh, for being here and to a good friend and colleague on our NAACP National Board of Trustees, Safar Brooks, for his leadership and for his dedication. Friends, I stand here this evening wanting to say thank you to Ms. Amelia Boynton for the women in the movement whose names you may never know or have heard. I sat in the, a theater and watched the movie Selma. And as the ending credits were going on, they told everything about the men, what they were doing. But they never said, what happened to Amelia Boynton? What happened to Diane Nash? And so when you ask the question, where were the women? We saw them. They were there. And that's why I want to say thank you also to Doris Crenshaw for the work that she has done. I want to say thank you to Hazel Mel Dukes, a daughter of Montgomery, Alabama. But I also want to say thank you to women like Alexis Herman, on whose shoulders young women continue to stand, like Ingrid Saunders Jones and Gwendolyn Boyd. May 30th, 1960, I was born May 30th, 1965. And so for this year, to be able to stand in Selma and be able to receive the torch and say, we're going the next mile of the way. I didn't march with Martin, but 30 years ago, I put my hand to the plow and joined the nation's oldest and largest civil rights organization. I've been chairman of its national board for six years, and I don't feel no ways tired because I believe in the history of the women and the men who stood in the gap for all of us. Now we've talked about commemoration, and we've talked and we've talked. I wanna pick up on a theme that Ms. Clayton talked about. The work goes on beyond Selma, because in this last two years, we have been literally threatened not only with the refusal of the right to vote, but also literally our right to live. Yes. And as we think about this, what are we prepared to do? What are we committed to do? Each of you have your cell phones. Be a part of a movement that starts right now. The NAACP is launching a social media campaign and we're sending a message to the legislators who may be coming down here for a social justice media tour or a photo opportunity to say hashtag don't come if you won't commit. Will you join me in tweeting that out? Hashtag don't come if you won't commit. Don't come down here to Selma, stand on the bridge, take a picture and go home and refuse to restore the 1965 Voting Rights Act in this nation. Something must be done. And we pledge ourselves this day, in this jubilee year, to say we've come too far by faith, and we ain't gonna let nobody turn us around. And so I say thank you to Hyundai, to Dave, and to Safar and Mr. Kim Lee. Keep on keeping on. Economic empowerment and voting is the only way that we're gonna move this nation forward. Courage must not skip this generation.